In regard to the debate between those who believe that there are physical substances and non-physical substances, that is, dualists, or that everything is physical, physicalists, or everything is non-physical, idealists, I'm a kind of neutral monist. I don't believe that there are two kinds of substance, but I don't call myself a physicalist or an idealist either because I believe that there really is no meaningful distinction between what is called physical and non-physical. My position is neutral between the two. I don't see how you can discern a physical thing from a non-physical thing or a physical property from a non-physical property. I don't think this distinction is clearly defined. Since that's the case, I don't think the mind-body problem, which asks how a non-physical mind can interact with a physical body, is even coherent. Noam Chomsky points out that what we consider physical as opposed to non-physical has changed over the last several centuries. He says, the mind-body problem can be posed sensibly only insofar as we have a definite conception of body. If we have no such definite and fixed conception, we cannot ask whether some phenomena fall beyond its range. The Cartesians offered a fairly definite conception of body in terms of their contact mechanics, which in many respects reflects common sense understanding. There's a problem with this, however. The Cartesian concept of body was refuted by 17th century physics, particularly in the work of Isaac Newton, which laid the foundations for modern science. Newton demonstrated that the motions of the heavenly bodies could not be explained by the principles of Descartes' contact mechanics, so that the Cartesian concept of body must be abandoned. Before Newton came along, people thought of the idea of one thing affecting another thing without touching it as a non-physical interaction. The only phenomena which were considered physical at the time were the ones involving things touching one another rather than affecting one another over distances. When Newton said that the moon causes tides by exerting a force on the oceans, people thought that this was some woo-woo spooky idea. But Newton said no, this is not magic, it is a real interaction, and now we not only see it as a real interaction, we see it as a physical one. So the definition of what we consider physical has broadened, and as Maxwell and Faraday began to describe electromagnetic fields, this also contributed to how we think of physical phenomena. So physical doesn't seem to have a set definition. You see, you can't ask the question about a, a interaction between physical and non-physical until you tell us what physical means. Okay, you've at least got to be able to tell us what physical means in order for the question to be answered. But there hasn't been any concept of physical for hundreds of years. Uh, physical is just anything we more or less understand. And if that's the, the, the only notion of physical we have, there can't be uh, interaction between physical and non-physical. Non-physical will be all the things, just all the things we don't understand. If we ever get to understand them, they'll be physical. So because what we consider physical has expanded over the years, the definition seems to be at least somewhat open-ended. Since this is the case, those who still contend that there are phenomena which cannot be physical or which cannot be explained as being physical phenomena, which is a common assertion in religious philosophy and philosophy of mind, are really not saying anything meaningful. Because we haven't even closed the book on what the physical is, let alone what the physical can do. People who make assertions like the mind can't be physical or the universe had to have a transcendent non-physical cause are talking out of their asses. Chomsky also says any intelligible theory that offers genuine explanations and that can be assimilated to the core notions of physics becomes part of the theory of the material world, part of our account of body. There is no real distinction between mind and body or physical and non-physical because there is no real definition of physical. I'm a neutral monist because I don't know what it means to say that things in the world are physical or non-physical or both or neither.